Sibongile, good evening and welcome. It's so lovely having you here. No, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I know you've had a busy, busy day. Yes, yes, yes. Busy, busy four. weeks. weeks, yeah. weeks, weeks but doing yeah, what? I was asking you what you were up doing at four and you yeah. explained to me. You can tell the viewers <laughs> as well. <laughs> well, it's doing promos. Uh, but I think prior even to today, shooting, shooting those kind of videos, but like block shooting, you know, block shooting as it takes like right. hours and hours and hours. Um, and all just the admin of it, really putting together the packages, the posters, the, the printouts, the venue, the sound. The, can we come and check if this wall is even fine. No, no, this wall can't go. This stage can't go. This th oh, God. I don't know if it's just me, but I haven't seen you on the comedy scene in a minute. Mm -hmm. Did you take a break? I took a break from public comedy, but I was doing co corporate comedy, sweetie. Girl, yes, so, points. NBC, must, <laughs> NBC has a corporate. <laughs> If they want them, they must just say. They must yeah, call you. I, I, I just took a little bit of a breather um, yeah. just to do as few um, uh, private uh, sessions as possible. And yeah, so now I'm like, you know what? I think I'm ready. Um, this show should have been done actually in COVID 2020. Ah, but then we all know what happened in 2020. Right. Then I ended up actually doing a Zoom stand-up comedy. Oh. So yeah, that was my, my previous one, one woman show. Because Zoom was very hilarious at the time. And I was like, okay, how do I now reach my audience? I was like, let's do a Zoom stand-up comedy. Yeah. And it's one of my best ones that I've ever had, actually. So the African nice. Cup of Njolo. <laughs> they say Njolo is a pandemic. <laughs> is it? It will dribble you nice, nice. <laughs> Nice. So will you be sharing some hilarious anecdotes and experiences and yeah. observations of your own life? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, my, my uh, comedic style is anecdotal comedy. I know, you know, people are mostly used to observational comedians like your Trevor Noah's where they, you know, they do social commentary or, you know, your deadpan comedians and, you know, the, the underhanded comedians that are just like, Oof, why would you say that? <laughs> so I am. I am more of a storyteller. That's how I started um, being a writer, uh, more of a comedic writer than I was a performer. So I'm an anecdotal, you know, comedian. So there's a a lot of ooh, stories on stories on stories. If you love stories. <laughs> I gotta be dropping names. Because <laughs> we know Namibia is very small. <laughs> Only you can describe yourself as sickeningly <laughs> joyful on her social social page, social media pages. It is sickening. Nah? <laughs> Are you going to tell talk to us about the humor that you yeah. find in, in being single and in your 30s and of course uh, those that are in their 40s as well mm. what's what's you know humorous about that time because, of your life because you know when you're in your 20s you want simple things but just take me to kfc and we're together and we're in love yeah. you know what i mean like oh guy must have a six pack and a car <laughs> now i have my own well i don't have a six pack i have my own fupa in my own car do you understand so what i need in a man yeah. is something very deep yeah very different and also our tolerance level like you can't come here is that no go go play far mm. plus i need to go to my house <laughs> taking a nap i'm tired you know life is life -ing. as much as there's a lot know. to laugh about yeah. in the single stage in yeah. that in that you know age uh, mm -hmm. age group mm. there's also a lot of challenges what are those I that know. you've observed the ex expectations just from your family and also from yourself because the problem with with girls because we were raised to be nurturers we were raised to be mothers and to be wives. So you told yourself, shame, poor you at 19. Yeah, when I'm 24, I'm going to have two kids. And, <laughs> and now you find yourself 30 plus and you don't have the things that you told yourself before right. even society. Right. You told yourself. So now because of the things that you told yourself, you can't let go of that dream and you feel like a, like a failure. Mm -hmm. um, and you just, you know, you feel like you're left behind. There's an actual um, word in my language. Um, in Sesotho, it says, only fitwa. Lifitwa means you're being, you're passed by, mm. not a failure. Looked over. Yes. Mm. And it's, and it's it's only when it comes to marriages. It, you, you, they can never use lifetwa in terms of like you, maybe you failed at school or your career. Mm -mm. Lifetwa means no man is checking for you, boo boo. <laughs> and it's shameful. <laughs> at your age, it's shameful. What do you so, hope that audiences take away from this comedy show, Sibu? I mean, I think for me it will be two things. Um, number one, a, a sense of camaraderie. Because we usually feel like oh, it's just me who's going through this and I could never really be vulnerable, which is what I got from my holiday dating. I did a series during the holidays, it was called Holiday Dating. Mm -hmm. uh, it was during the holidays that all I was doing is dating. Right. Um, <laughs> and a lot of women came up to me and said, oh my gosh, you're so brave. I'm like, I'm brave about talking about being ghosted. Because I was. <laughs> Today I was ghosted. I was blocked. <laughs> I was too dark. Blue ticked. Left on red. Left on red. And you such a question like, is it me or? So I, I want to know that it is, it, it, sometimes circumstances around us um, are the ones that are hampering us and, but, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. And just secondly, just saying that your life is fulfilled. Yeah, you might yeah, not yeah. have that kid or that husband that you thought you were going to have at this age or other what other people expect you to have. But 
Dokman, you're still okay, man. Dokman, you're not falling apart. <laughs> I, I, I. Pull yourself together. Get a passport. Let's travel. Let's go to, you know, most all the girls let's, in Namibia. Let's are going catch to flights Bali. and not feelings. And they go to Bali, most the Namibian girlies. Let's go to Bali, man. Let's go see Bali. <laughs> Siva, when's the comedy show happening? It's, Where? Uh, what time? Talk to us about all the details. It is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm losing track of my days. It's tomorrow. So quick, fast, and in a hurry. Uh, 7th it's here. of March. 7th of March, right. yes. And it is at 6.30. So doors are opening at 6.30. And then they can find their tickets at web tickets um, online or at pick and pay stores. So people are like, what do I do now? My ticket? I go to pick and pay. Yeah. So just pick and pay. That's where you get your web tickets as well if you don't want to do it online. So yeah, 150 in advance and 200 at the door. Well, thank you so much mm. for being here no, this evening. It's always that. lovely speaking. Oh, you need to come here more often, Mum. <laughs> that is Sibo Chabalala, everybody. Her comedy uh, titled uh, Endangered Species 30 and Uncuffed, the African Cup of Mjolo, is happening tomorrow. Please get your tickets. There's not going to be a repetition of it, so you want to be there to watch. Uh, from myself and the rest of the team, it's good night, and thank you so much for watching.